I think we have uh, delayed long enough. We have uh, we have talked about everything that needs to be talked about, except for the big elephant in the room. The biggest Ooh. release, I think, for all the of big us, M, the big M, <laughs> Mario Odyssey. Uh, don't fear not, viewer at home, because uh, this is not a spoiler cast. We will not be talking about anything spoiler related because two of the people still have not beaten it. Actually, three with Laura as well. Yeah, assuming she makes a file, Laura, you need to get on that. Um, it's going to take me but, 80 years to finish this game. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I have beaten it. Stormy's close. She's nearing the end game. Summer is still around the middle, mid-game. Um, so we're just going to give you like our impressions, what we think of the game, etc. Me personally, honestly, having seen every world, I've been to every world now, I've seen the ending, I've seen everything pretty much this game has to offer. Uh, this is my new favorite Mario game. Uh... Of all of them, like it, this is my. Before my favorite was Sunshine, um, this has just taken that crown right off and put it right on its own head. Uh, it's so good! Oh my gosh, everything about it—the gameplay, uh, the aesthetic of each world—is unique. The music is great, uh, and at the end, you 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 get the ability. I will spoil this part because it's just a very minor point, but at the very end of the game, you get the ability to choose your own music track from any part in the game. So, oh, oh. that part is great. So you can just be running around Toast Arena, listening to Jump Up Superstar or whatever. It's great. What? That's awesome. Yeah, That's no, it's, amazing. it's an amazing game. Amazing game. That's a really nice touch. Wow. For uh, me... This game thinks of everything? For me... Seriously. This game is... Like, my favorite Mario game. I have not even... Like, I, I think I have around 668 stars or, or moons. I should wow, say right wow. And it's... That is a lot. just insane how much they put into this game. It, it, for me, I love it. It's like it, it never stops getting bigger and bigger and bigger as a game. Like, you are never going to run out of nooks and crannies or places to find stars. Right. And also, can we talk about for you how, like, you're the only one who's beaten it, how amazing it is that it's your favorite Mario game when you factor in, like, just the sheer power of nostalgia when it comes to, like, these these other games that we know and love. Like, for a new game to sweep in and, and take the crown is, like, pretty freaking impressive. Oh, yeah. So Well, yeah, I yeah. think one of the things that they did really well is capitalize on the nostalgia of pretty much every previous 3D Mario game, and even 2D in some cases. Oh, but yeah, there's, there's so, much so much 2D. Yes, but they didn't just, you know, basically fan service with the previous games. They right. improved and made new mechanics, and it is kind of amazing and astounding that they were able to combine both of those things in this just beautiful perfect little package right every single like nod to another game is done like so creatively right mm -hmm. and it makes it makes total sense that it would like be there in that way like it's not it's not just like oh right yeah, that's, that's from that game right and oh, yeah. yeah it like makes total sense right yeah and i can't know. wait to get into the spoiler cast so i can oh man yeah, by the way, by the way, viewers, at when these two beat the game, we will be doing a full spoiler cast for our feelings on the end game. Uh, probably from the Luncheon Kingdom forward, because that's when stuff really starts to get crazy in the game. Um, yeah. Stormy has just beaten the Ruined Kingdom. Summer doesn't know what that means yet, but she I know. actually do. You do? Oh, you went there? Well, well, I haven't been there, but didn't we go there in, the, in our group file? Nope. No. Nope, we, oh. did not. we did not. Maybe not then. She'll she'll know oh, when she gets there. God. She'll know oh, when crap. she gets there. Uh, but yes, She's scared. This game is the game that keeps on giving, and um, it's just crazy how much content they packed into it. Um, so many costumes, so many things that open. Oh my gosh! That open the up like it's and they're so beautiful and the, detailed. Yes, the amount of stuff that opens after you've completed the game, because I'm the only one currently who's completed the game. But you can, there's, like, they continue adding moons and, and all these different things to every world you've already visited after you beat the game. And 
it's just crazy how much they, they jam-packed into this. Like, when you think about the scale compared to, like, Mario 64, right? In Mario 64, you had approximately, like, seven, eight stars in each level. And there was, like, 15 levels, maybe? Maybe more. Maybe, like, 20. I mean, um, there was 120 total stars in that game. Right. Um, and then, in this game, Toasterita alone has, like, 69 power moons. And it is gigantic. How, yeah, it's, it is. It, it kind of blows your mind a little bit how much they put into this. And by the way, all of these costumes you just unlock by playing the game. You don't have to spend any money to get these costumes in the game. Amazing. Even the Amiibo ones. Even yeah. the Amiibo. What? Yeah. Well, no, you, you have to spend money on the Amiibos to get the Amiibo costumes, no? No, no. I so got those. Game, those are in my game because after you beat the game and you get enough power moons, the, the shop become stocked with all of those costumes. What about the items? Like, the things you can buy for your ship? What about them? Do you, like, Are you those available, those too? Do you too? just get them? Yeah, you can still buy those. Why wouldn't you? What are you talking about? I thought you meant that everything was free, like, after a certain no, point. No, 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 no. I'm saying that the amiibo costumes... But they're just like, available for purchase. Yeah, you can oh. buy those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. like, with okay. game coins, not, like... I was right, like, right. oh yes. my god, I've been spending all this time collecting <laughs> coins for nothing. But no, is it no. is it like a reasonable amount of moons that you need, or is it like you'll have to spend 20 hours finding all of the moons in order to... You need a like, lot. You know of, what I mean? You need a lot of moons. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of the same as, like, if you want these outfits, like, you have to yeah. spend, like, a ridiculous amount of time doing it or pay for the Amiibos. That's, like, that's kind of the same thing. Well, except it's you very get easy to get moons in this game, though, when you think about it. It's not it's that true. difficult to get moons. Yeah. Um, you just kind of wander around, and you'll happen upon, like, 20 in one world. Yeah, See, yeah that insane. was one of the complaints that I heard people saying. Is some oh, people many? said that they're it wasn't very satisfying to get a moon because sometimes you get them for doing almost nothing except maybe just stumbling upon them. And my response to that is I agree that there are some that are basically like meant for children to be happy playing this game, but there are others Let me, that are extremely they're worth a lot of work. Yeah. I have a counter for that. Okay. For these people who think that this game is too easy. For, the, for these people who think that this is just another easy Mario game, wait till you get to the last two secret worlds. That is some twisted, sick platforming. Like this is borderline sadistic on Nintendo's part. The amount of <laughs> the amount of like precision accuracy that they want you to have for every single jump. Because let me tell you something: the last world has no check. Points, and it is the longest single platforming section in the entire game, and there's not a single checkpoint. So if you die at the very end, all the way back to the beginning, and it is and not like torture. Easy. It's not I mean, easy. not only that, but people like let's remember this is a Mario game. This isn't like Bloodborne. This is <laughs> Mario, right. this is yeah. Super Mario. Like yeah. it's uh, my my thing is like. It is easy in, in um, I guess, most of the story, plot, whatever. But this game, like, I feel like I was smiling the entire time I was playing it. It made, like, it made me so happy just to play it and see all of the different worlds, all the different costumes, the different captures, just everything about it. Oh, yeah. Made me smile. And all the new mechanics Agreed. that they added... Even they've even added to so Mario's cool. mobility in this game. Like you yeah. have you have the classic yeah. stuff, right? You have the the backwards jump, you have the long jump. jump, you have the triple jump. All these classic moves from the previous 3D Mario games are still here, but they've added so much. Like the cap throw and then jumping on it, the dive, and then they go even further than that, where you throw your cap in the air, you dive onto it and jump on it, and then you throw your cap yeah. again and dive. You can do infinite a number. Of, it's like the the speed running for this game is going to be insane. When that yeah, comes really, oh yeah. I can't wait to see it. I'm. T I would never be someone that speed runs, but I would love to Hell watch. No. I would love to watch. Yeah, no. This 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 game is is uh, quite a marvel for for Nintendo, and I'm very surprised. And I this is actually really funny. This year, Nintendo is going to have to fight with itself in Breath of the Wild 
for the best reviewed game of 2017. <laughs> oh, what an damn. what an enviable position for Nintendo right now. They have just crushed it. They have. It's the kind of funny when you see where they were last year in comparison to this year. Oh, yeah. I saw I saw like some meme on on a gaming forum, and it was like Nintendo 2016. Nintendo is doomed. Nintendo 2017. Nintendo has doom. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right. Exactly. So that's it's awesome. Just like, what a a huge turnaround for them and have they been this, planning it this whole time I i'm sure they know. have I don't know. what a way <laughs> I mean, to come out swinging though you know what i mean like yeah. this is just their first year with the yeah, switch they mean business yeah. clearly so Insane. it's very exciting so my question to you then caleb is what where does this rank um like you said that this has eclipsed Sunshine as your number one. So, like, what's your top three? Uh, my top three, uh, well, to be frank... Of just Mario? To be frank, I, yeah. grew, I grew up with 3D Mario, so my list will mostly be that. Um, it's going to be, you know, Mod Odyssey's at the top, Sunshine, and then the classic 64. And here's the thing, right? 64 is my... It was like the literal first game I ever played. I played that when I was like three years old. I didn't even know how to hold a controller. I was like holding it like this, like the control stick was like this. And then I'd go over and push the button and I would... So I didn't even know how to play video games yet, okay? But that was like my first game. So for a game to like touch on that feeling of like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a kid again. Like this is, yeah. this is my first experience with the game. It's like, oh, oh. It Take made, me away. It, 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 <laughs> it, t it touched me on a level that I have not felt uh, in a long time. And I think a lot of people felt that way for Breath of the Wild. Like, it, it touched that, that need that they had. It didn't quite do that for me, and I was a little, a little disappointed that it didn't. But this game has just, like... Whew, like yeah, I, I totally agree. I th And I think a lot of that is the extra time that they spent. I, I can only imagine what Mario would have been if they released it at launch. It probably, yeah. Yeah. you know, would not have been as jam-packed as it is now. And right. and that's one of the best parts of, of the game is how just, like, brimming with random crazy stuff to do it is. So, right. you know. And think about how mad everybody was that they had to wait for Mario when the Switch right. came out. They're like, this isn't a They're launch like, title? We only get one what? game? What? How stupid. And, yeah. my, like, my own brother just, like, sold his Switch as soon as he finished Zelda. Now he's like, oh, my God, I, I need to buy another one. What is, price. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Caleb, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that with the Breath, with Breath of the Wild because I, I feel like that. I feel the same way, basically. Breath of the Wild, to me, wasn't, like, it was completely revolutionary, and I loved the game. And I loved so many things about it. I think it was like a much needed breath of fresh air, literally. Uh, um, uh, uh. But yeah, I don't. I didn't have like the same sense of wonderment that I had and nostalgia. And nostalgia. Yeah. They because, didn't bring the soundtrack in until the very end. Yeah, you know, the soundtrack. It's just like, yeah. and it really felt like anything. a new experience. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like an entire entirely no experience and not to take anything away from it because I thought that experience was really awesome but it just didn't tug up my heartstrings the same way that Odyssey did and obviously like maybe I just like um some gratification to like instant gratification because like you know those easy moons it's still like satisfying to me yeah like, I, don't feel I nice. like to collect them all and you know I don't know. It's it's so satisfying. Every every part of it I've been happy with. The music is phenomenal. Amazing. The they captures, it. the new mechanics, Mario's yeah. moves, the ability to, you know, put stuff on and in the Odyssey and the costumes. I don't know. Yeah. It's basically just magical. So And for the people who are who are gonna give me like some kind of guff because sixty four is at the, the lowest, um, that's just in terms of like when you look back at 64, there were there were some problems, like the camera is a little... It's got some problems when you're platforming. Um, there are times when Mario does stuff like you didn't quite want him to do. Um, <laughs> and, and, of course, there's just the plain fact that every Mario game since has added to that in some way. Like Mario Sunshine, they added a completely new mechanic of, here's Flood, here's your backpack, you do stuff with it, on top of the stuff that was already there for 64. 
if you were to go back and play 64, you and you don't have the cap, you don't have flood, you don't have any of this. It's like this is very bare bones in comparison to the newer stuff, you know. So, yeah, it's funny too because people um, say that sunshine. People have a, it's, sunshine is so contentious mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I don't really get don't. It. I don't get it either because I was a kid when I played it, and and as a kid I didn't have any of this like baggage of like older Mario's really or you know like uh, if something's cool or not cool or graphically acceptable I'm just like this is Mario and it's fun yeah and it's on a system that I have so right that's well great. The, the glorious thing about Sunshine was it felt like a it felt like a great vacation it, it was so exactly. happy right. colorful and, and amazing and this is just like I'm what really impresses me about Odyssey is like how every single world that you go to seems in art style in feeling like it all seems completely different. Like uh -huh. when you look at luncheon kingdom and you compare it yeah. to the new dog city, like they look like from different games, but yeah, yeah that's kind sure. of awesome. And right. the, the boss that stormy just fought at the ruined kingdom looks like it doesn't even come from a Mario game, but it is yeah, that was insane. amazing. I amazing. can't wait. I, I was, my jaw was on the floor when I saw it up here. I was like, oh, oh Caleb's frozen. Oh, when I'm frozen? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I was just like, yeah, my jaw was on the floor when I saw that up here. I was like, yeah, see? and actually, when we have our spoiler cast, it's funny because after I fought that boss, I literally grabbed my phone and I filmed myself discussing my immediate thoughts. Oh because my god! It was that, it was that crazy. crazy. Yes. Oh my god! I, I want to pop that clip in when we have our spoiler cast because I was literally like, I have to record myself immediately <laughs> before I lose this feeling. But, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll do that too. Then after I, we can oh, see yeah. if we see the say the same things. No, it's it, it probably was, will. It was pretty incredible, and there's still so much Oof. more that the game has to give that you two have not even seen yet. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil it for you. I want you guys to experience it, but it's going to blow your minds. Let me just put it that way. It's going to. It's going to. You think you. You think your heartstrings have been pulled on so far. You ain't seen nothing oh, yet. God. You ain't seen nothing yet. But it's going to be amazing. I um, have so many theories, and I haven't even seen the stuff that Stormy's seen, and she hasn't even seen it all. And I just like. Ugh. Oh, but I'm so God. happy that there is so much content because as I'm playing it, like. I'm not speeding through by any means, but no. I I am kind of playing at a pretty nice clip because I can't wait to see what's coming next and right. what other world is there. What else can I capture? I need. I just want to find out what other costumes are there going to be. Right. Even when I get into a world and I'm like, what type of purple coin do they have? What's the shape of it? I would. I, Everything I about know. it is so delightful. So let me listen yeah. to the music. You know. Exactly. I yeah. buy I buy all the items from the shop. Like I'm I'm so obsessed right now with with building up my Odyssey and getting all of my items in there. <laughs> it, it looks like it a really, cluttered mess inside my Odyssey right now. It looks like a it cluttered looks... mess inside mine too. <laughs> I'm I'm just you know it's it's crazy how the game kind of takes a hold of you like that, and you care about things that even in you know even in previous Mario games I didn't get every coin. I didn't get no. every star. Like no. I just beat the game. But now I feel like I might need to get every coin. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, uh, definitely. Uh, oh, jeez. There, I am just uh, infinitely impressed by how Nintendo was able to, to pull it out. And I'm also doubly impressed by the fact that this game, like compared to like Breath of the Wild even, uh, runs at full 60 the entire game, docked or undocked. Like that. Uh -huh. I didn't expect that. frames per second. When I, when I first saw the trailer for it... Um, I have to admit, I was a little hesitant. Remember when the Switch was first announced, and we first saw that clip of like New Donk City and stuff like that. I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this game is gonna turn out." Well, it was and, kind of like, "Do we know? Do we think it's gonna be like Sonic Adventure?" Or right. you know, it was a little. It was. It is a little like Simish, or yeah. maybe a slightly Sonic Adventure. But when you play it, it's not like that. Right. at all when you first when you first play it, it when you first see it it's like 
a little worrying, honestly. It's like, yes. have, have they do they know what they're doing anymore? And then it's like, oh yeah. no, I take it all back. They knew exactly they what they were doing the entire time. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I even had that thought when, I know tons of people when they saw the trailer and it had the T-Rex in it, so many people were really excited. And I, I freaked out at first because we had a group chat and I was we were all like, what is this game? And then to see it was Mario was like, that's crazy. But then afterwards, I remember thinking, like, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. The, These the meshing art styles. Of, yeah. Of, yeah, art styles and graphics is like, I, it's kind of weird. And why does Mario need to be a T-Rex anyway? But right. he, oh, sure he sure but does. He sure does. He sure does. He sure does. But he sure does. Um, yeah. But yeah, as you guys can tell, uh, we all love the game. Uh, but we kind of need to stop it here before we continue gushing all night because we could, <laughs> yeah. we could potentially do that. But yeah, we uh, definitely could. That's going to do it for this episode of the Fuss Podcast, where we talked about what the fuss is all about. Thank you guys for joining us. If you enjoyed our podcast, uh, don't be afraid to give us a like or a comment. Tell us what you thought. Uh, don't be afraid to share with your friends. All that good stuff, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Once again, my name is Caleb. I'm Stormy. I'm Summer. I'm Laura LTS. <laughs> this is Laura LTS, and we will catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.